Hello again. In this video, I plan to show you one possible way to derive Bayes' theorem using mostly algebra. So there are many ways to derive Bayes' theorem, but I'm going to approach this from an algebra-heavy perspective. So let's start by considering a city, and let's say there's two types of people in this city. People infected with COVID, C, and people not infected with COVID, not C. Let's also say everyone in the city has also been tested and you either test positive or negative. Now let's say there are some number of people, capital A, which both have COVID and have been tested positive. Let's also say there's some number of people, B, who don't have COVID, but have unfortunately been given false positives because the testing isn't 100% accurate. Likewise, let's say there are C people who have been diagnosed with false negatives and let D people populate this group. Now let me ask you this question. What is the probability of selecting someone at random in the city with COVID, P of C? There's no trick question here. You randomly select from the total population. Well, in this case, the total number of people with COVID are A plus C. And the total number of people in the city is the sum of everything here, A plus B plus C plus D. So that means that the probability of selecting someone at random with COVID is A plus C divided by A plus B plus C plus D. Now, what's the probability of selecting someone at random who is tested positive? Well, the total number of people tested positive is A plus B. So the total probability is A plus B divided by the total number of people in the city, A plus B plus C plus D. Now here's the hard question. What's the probability of someone testing positive given that they have COVID? And if you think about it, this is actually the definition of test accuracy. So what is the probability of testing positive given that you have COVID? Well, unlike before, we have additional information. This randomly selected person came from the group that has COVID. This limits our probability space, so we only care about these two quadrants. Well, what's the probability of testing positive in this new space? Well, it's just capital A. And what's the total number of people in this new space? Well, it's just A plus C. And so our probability is A divided by A plus C. Let's try one more. What's the probability of someone having COVID if they test positive. In other words, what's the probability of having COVID given that you test positive? Now, this is typically something you care about. You've gone to the clinic, you've tested positive, and now you want to know how likely you've got the virus. Well, just like before, since it's given that you've tested positive, that means we restrict our view to the upper two quadrants only. The amount of people who have COVID in this new space is A, and the total number of people who've tested positive is A plus B. By the way, take a moment to appreciate how small this fraction can be. If there are lots of people who are given false positives, B, then this fraction will become smaller and smaller. And that's usually a pretty counterintuitive thing. Okay, now let's derive Bayes' theorem. Using algebra, let's see if there's a way we can find this probability purely in terms of the other probability expressions we just derived. Well, I can write this as a divided by a plus c times a plus c divided by the total number of people times the total number of people divided by a plus b. Notice this really is the same because you can cross off these terms like this and get back to our original expression, a divided by a plus b. This first term is the same as expression three. And this second term is the same as expression one. And this third term is, well, expression two, but flipped upside down. If we put all of this together, then we have Bayes' theorem. Here it is. But we don't have to stop there. Sometimes it's useful to find another expression for the denominator. So how can we rewrite the probability of selecting someone who's tested positive? Well, we can write this fraction as A divided by the total number of people plus B divided by the total number of people. 
And if we wanted to, we can write this expression as this. This term is the probability of testing positive given that you have COVID. This next term is the probability of having COVID. This term is the probability of testing positive given that you don't have COVID. And lastly, this term is just the probability of someone not having COVID. Putting this all together, we have two equivalent expressions for Bayes' theorem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a small reminder, I'm not a medical professional. Please don't use this video to justify getting tested or not getting tested. All right, thanks a lot.